What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. So I was actually going to launch something else today when this news came across my airwaves. And I thought it would be something interesting to talk about. And we'll just do an NRO podcast tomorrow because there's a lot of things behind the scenes that your boy got to get into. Right. So we didn't forget about NRO podcast It's definitely coming tomorrow. But here's the interesting tidbit of news. All right. So let's see. Take a look at this here. Is a rumor that cyberpunk 2077 might be coming to game pass okay so why is that even important well that's important because cyberpunk 2077 for those of you that live under a rock and don't understand is like the biggest (laughs) game of 2020 next to the last of us 2 right um one of the biggest anticipated games for 2020 and there's some other reasons as well but apparently on the south african uh, uh, xbox related uh website there was this game and a bunch of other games that were listed that were coming to game pass but it was released prematurely so then they were uh it, it was supposedly deleted but we'll talk about all that first let me let me read the article okay and this is coming from oldchair.com i've never i've never heard of them You know, so let's put that into perspective. I don't know how big of a publication they are. I've never heard of them. With that being said, rumors Cyberpunk 2077 could be coming to Xbox Game Pass. All right. So according to the video that has been swiftly been deleted by Xbox, South Africa's Twitter, uh, Cyberpunk 27 is just one of the big titles that will arrive to Microsoft subscription service Xbox Game Pass. All right. And the games listed that was on this video uh, that was deleted is halo infinite which we know gears 5 is already in there uh jedi fallen order that would be news minecraft dungeons that's a microsoft game so we know cyberpunk 2077 sea of thieves wasteland 3 we knew about the outer worlds is already there lego star wars madden 20 i think Madden 20 is already in there state of the k2 heartland doom eternal wow microsoft flight simulator for forza horizon 4 um battle toad so oh dear lord crossfire hmm i think they already announced that um at uh xo but you know i don't know that it's coming to uh game pass borderlands 3 tales of arise bleeding edge ghost recon breakpoint hmm elton ring that's a big one dying like 2 dragon ball z or in the real wisps and tom clancy's the division all right so all those we're listed in that deleted video. Here's the thing though. Um, a couple things to take into consideration. I'm um, in relation to Cyberpunk 2077. I want to show you guys something else if I can find it. Because this is led. And I normally don't like doing this. Um, but the heck with it, we'll do it anyway. Because There's a lot of bloviating and a lot of, uh, um, (sighs) there's a lot of bloviating and there's a lot of things that are being said out here in sake of these console wars. And normally I respond to people that go over the top and I, I kind of consider this over the top, but at the same time, who knows? You know what I'm saying? So we'll entertain a little bit for a discussion point on this channel. All right. So here's a tweet from Cold Eastwood. Okay. So for those of you that are not familiar with Cold Eastwood, Cold Eastwood is a member of the RDX podcast. Okay. And Cold is often a target of a lot of non Xbox fanboys because of the overglowing and the over enthusiasm that he has towards the xbox brand and and, and I, I, the the biggest thing is that from what i can see which i i don't think colt may understand is that it's not so much that he's pro xbox it's there's this mantra of let's play nice but then there's often digs at at, at playstation 
And they're like, hold on, something hypocritical is going on here. So, but so Colt Eastwood, the figment, Colt Eastwood. I don't know Colt personally, but Colt Eastwood, the figment, the 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 pro Xbox entity, is a very polarizing figure in in gaming. So take in the gaming community. So take this with a grain of salt. But like I said, we it, it's worth entertaining and addressing. Rumor. Doesn't sound too likely, though. I, I like how he prefaces it with that. That Cyberpunk 2077 being marketed by Xbox will be launching on Xbox Game Pass. Now, listen to... Now, check the wording here. The wording is very slick. Launching on Xbox Game Pass. If this happens, it will be... It will open the door to big third-party AAA games and continue to release... To release on Game Pass. Okay, so... Here, thing number one, um, from what I saw, and I could be wrong because you know I'm, I'm an old, I'm an old fogey. From what I saw from that article, there is nothing in this article that speaks of the word launching at all. If you read the article again, it's it's altchair.com. This is the article he's referencing, uh. The tweet was like the tweet was live. They're available right now. Of course, the rumor leak unconfirmed. There's no I, I see no word of the word launching here. You know what I'm saying? It just shows you a big AAA game. It's not too hard to fathom that the game would be on Game Pass at some point in time. That Microsoft has negotiated that, and that's why they decided to to pay for the marketing rights. That could be a business strategy of theirs. But there's nothing here that alludes to it being launched here and i say that to say this because i want to show you guys something else so a good guy within the stadia culture his name is duncan big ups to duncan um and his platforms that he works on in relation to stadia in response to cold he said this will be monumental if this did happen, not out of the realms of possibility, but would think highly unlikely. And my response to that was launching, coming to it, yeah, launching, that's a big stretch. Aaron Greenberg in an interview with Gamertag Radio at E3, 2019 pretty much ruled out big third party AAA day and date games like this into Game Pass. That's it, anything's possible. So, that's why I brought that up. It's, it was a stretch. There was nothing in the in the in the thing that indicates that. But the the only reason why that I'm leaning more heavily towards that it's not launching in Game Pass is because that would definitely hinder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The the uh, the incoming revenue for any third party game. It's one thing for Microsoft to drop their games day and date. They're paying these people. But for a third party to do that, that's absurd. And Microsoft didn't build. If you listen to that Aaron Greenberg interview, Microsoft didn't build Game Pass to be exactly like Netflix. Netflix goes into serious debt and finds himself in the red often because they're buying, um, you know, big stuff immediately you know what i'm saying where microsoft will wait till it's in it's in its sunset period and offer them a price to say hey, look no one else is buying this come on you know or it, it it's it, it's decreased retail heavily here we'll give you x amount of dollars to bring it in the game pass and that's what aaron greenberg laid out in that interview with that being said anything's possible but I just didn't want those to read that tweet and think that that article had alluded that. Nothing in that article, from what I could see, alluded to that whatsoever. But if this is going to happen day and day, that would be that would be my that would change the game. And as of 2020, make Game Pass the, the biggest deal in gaming this generation. Um, however, with all that being said, I hope this isn't true. I hope that's not true. Not because it's, and I hate to be a sour, uh, a, a poor sport for gamers, but if this is true, I'm recently concerned with the trend of Phil Spencer and Xbox hindering business deals with third parties in sake of their own benefit. Because first you had control being prematurely spoken of by Phil on Mixer. 
And if this is true, you know what people are going to do. They're going to wait. They're going to hold off for Game Pass to get Cyberpunk. So I don't. I, if this is true, and this was released prematurely, this is not a coincidence. Back to back weeks, big time leaks like this to a hindrance of their business partners. If I'm a big name AAA dev and I'm looking to sign with Game Pass, I, I wouldn't be having second thoughts because stuff like this is going to erode your uh, your, your your potential earnings in the sunrise period. Again, for gamers, they don't care, but they should because a company's bottom line equates to future success. So a lot of things to discuss there. I may talk about this in a row podcast, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. How big of a deal is this? Do you think this is true? What about um, Cyberpunk 2077 coming to Game Pass day and day? I'm like 10% chance, and that's being <laughs> courteous. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And like I always say, if you like what I had to say, follow me on the content provided below via the links. We are running a raffle. Check out the link below for that raffle. We are giving away a PlayStation 4 Pro and $70 USD in the PlayStation Store. You definitely don't want to miss that. Time's a ticking. And with that said, you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.